Missing Connecticut is playing host to a major defense trade summit today between the U.S. And Australia. And Connecticut's defense industry is hopeful the partnership will pay big dividends in the future. News 8's Tina Detel explains why. It's a defense industry summit like no other. I need help now, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to have conversations with all of you throughout the day. More than 150 companies from Connecticut and Australia joining forces for the first ever mateship defense trade summit to build on existing relationships and forge new ones. You got to be face to face, and it also shows a commitment. John L. Laboratories in Meriden is hoping to help solve any problems Australia has as it increases its underwater and submarine capabilities, while Alpha Q in Colchester has been making flight safety critical components since 1964. We work with alloys that a lot of other customers don't work with, so it'd be interesting to see if any of those alloys are alloys that Australia works with. 95% of the consumers are outside the United States. So it's our job every day to say to them, we want you to be sustainable. The U.S. Department of Commerce connected these Connecticut companies with their counterparts down under, like A.W. Bell, a casting company in Victoria. The open conversations that we can have has been really conducive, and the partnerships I think we'll form here will really aid in our, and helping us to understand how we work better with the teams over here. It's nice to see a lot of small businesses from the district to uh, see opportunities in Australia that um, will grow jobs here. This may be the first ever Defense Trade Summit, but it comes on the 100th anniversary of mateship. So as you can see, the U.S. and Australia have had a long-term relationship, which began on the battlefield and continued with their industrial base. Anything we do to protect our country requires a partnership across a wide swath. Global connections made close to home. In Mystic, Tina.